Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Sunday service. Uh, as we begin our worship together this morning, let's pray together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to worship you today. Uh, we do pray that at times it can get, uh, although at times it can get a little bit difficult to pay attention or a little bit difficult to focus in our worship times because we do it online. Help us to, Lord, uh, be engaged and uh, to know that it's not just a video that we watch, but it's truly a worship unto you. Uh, we do pray especially for uh, Caleb and Hoon, our TNT uh, older brothers. I do pray that you'll continue to watch over them as well. Help them to be uh, just an incredible witness and a blessing to those around them, to their family members and to their friends at school as well. Uh, we do pray even for our parents as well as the teachers and pastors. Uh, continue to watch over them as well. Help them to lead uh, as they uh, depend on you. May they lead not out of uh, may, they, may they lead with humility, may they lead with uh, patience and help them, Lord, to uh, just overflow with love uh, towards uh, those uh, around them as well. Be with us during our time together this morning uh, in our worship service. May you be honored and may you be glorified. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, let's stand up and let's sing this song together this morning. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in As we continue in our worship, let's all recite the Apostles' Creed together. Are right, you guys ready? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Welcome back. Uh, today is Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, which is a week before Easter Sunday. Friends, does anyone know why it's called Palm Sunday? Palm Sunday? We'll find out as we look at today's passage. So if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Matthew chapter 21. We'll read from verses 1 through 11. Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. You guys ready? Verse 1. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. 
Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them, uh, put on them their clothes or cloaks, and Jesus sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the, ro- on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that, and, um, that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. This is God's word. Thanks be to God. Friends, as our theme for the month of March is patience. Patience. Let me ask you guys a question. Friends, when was the longest time or what's the longest you've ever waited for something? Maybe you waited something uh, to come in the mail. Maybe you've waited a very long time to go back to school. Maybe for some of us, we've waited a very, very long time to visit our our uh, grandparents or visit our friends for the first time after COVID. Um, You see, for the people of Israel, they've been waiting for literally hundreds of years, hundreds of years for the Messiah or for the Savior uh, that God had promised to finally come. I mean, can you imagine hundreds of years? And as they were waiting, they they would celebrate a holiday called the Passover to remember how God had freed them from slavery from Egypt. As they celebrated Passover, they not only looked back and remembered God's rescue, but they were also looking forward to how God would rescue them again through a promised Savior. If you look throughout the passages in the Old Testament, it kept all the pro- through the prophets, God kept promising the people of Israel that the Messiah is coming, that the Savior will come. And during the Passover festival, tons of people would travel to the capital city of Jerusalem so that they can celebrate all together thinking about this promise and thinking about even the ways that God had been faithful to them in the past. And it was during this time, during Passover, where Jesus and his disciples enter into Jerusalem. And as they drew close to, close to Jerusalem, Jesus sent two of his disciples to go on ahead and with some unusual, some weird, some odd orders. Look with me in verse 2 to 3. Verse 2, Jesus said, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. Isn't that weird? As the two disciples went into Jerusalem, they did exactly as Jesus had asked, and what do you know? They ended up with a donkey and a colt. And as they did that, the words began to spread quickly. Now back in the day, they didn't have social media, but if they did, Jesus would be trending on all platforms. I mean, the Messiah is coming. The Savior is finally coming to Jerusalem. He is coming today. And many were so excited that finally, after all this time, after hundreds and hundreds of years, the promised Savior is coming to Jerusalem today. And as the two disciples came back with the donkey, they placed their own coats or own clothes on the donkey so that Jesus would have a comfortable ride um, into Jerusalem on a donkey. But they thought this was a little odd. This was a little weird. Because you see, usually kings or leaders or people who are um, of very um, public figures would often ride on a big, tall horse like a stallion. People of Jerusalem were thinking if the Savior of the, if that God had promised, if the Messiah is coming, surely he would come riding a big, big horse but Jesus asked for a donkey so what's up with that little did they know Jesus was actually fulfilling a prophecy that was written by Zechariah prophet Zechariah hundreds and hundreds of years ago if you look at Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9 it says this 
Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming. Righteous and having salvation is he, humbled and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Jesus is indeed the righteous king who has come to offer salvation, to rescue people from their sin. This is what prophet, uh, prophet Zechariah was prophesying when it was promising, and this is what Jesus has come to do. As Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, many people took off their coats and threw them down on the road before Jesus, kind of like a red carpet in an award show, right? And some even cut branches from palm trees and placed them on the road before Jesus. Palm branches or palm trees symbolize goodness and victory. People were greeting Jesus with palm branches because they thought Jesus is indeed the Savior who will lead them to victory and goodness. And this is why, friends, we call, good, we call, palm, we call this Sunday Palm Sunday. Because as Jesus entered Jerusalem, people greeted Him with palm branches, thinking Jesus is the answer to their victory. Jesus is the answer to victory. As soon as Jesus entered into Jerusalem, all the attention was on Jesus. Many were following him around and began to shout, Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna meant praise, joy, adoration. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. There was a big, giant celebration as Jesus enters Jerusalem. Jesus has indeed come to save the world. He has come to rescue people and set them free, but not in the way that people were expecting, not in the way that people were actually celebrating. You see, the type of Savior or Messiah that people were expecting, that the Israelites or Jews were waiting for, was the type that we often see from superhero movies like Marvel and DC. They were waiting for a Messiah to come and rescue them and set them free from the Roman government. Back during Jesus' time, Rome had control over Israel, kind of like how Egypt had control over Israel back in Exodus, um, and Israelites were slaves. Now, they weren't enslaved to Rome, but technically they were governed and they were ruled over by Rome. In fact, Israel has been under many different powers throughout history. The Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Persians, and now the Romans. So they thought the Savior that God had promised them would come and rescue them and set them free by riding on this giant big horse like a stallion and going to battle and leading them to victory over Rome. But instead, Jesus comes riding on a donkey, not holding a sword or any weapon in his hand, not to set them free from the Roman government, but to indeed set them free from sin and death. Jesus has come so that a few days later he can go to the cross and die on their behalf of those who were expecting a different type of Savior. Friends, Jesus is the true Messiah, the Savior. He leads us to victory not by swinging a sword, not by force, not by power, but by going to the cross. Jesus rescues us from sin and death not by destroying and taking over other nations, but by laying down his own life. As Jesus, as I mean, as Easter is just around the corner, friends, I would like to ask you and encourage each of you guys to think about and meditate about what Jesus had to go through during his last week as he was alive on earth. As Jesus enters into Jerusalem, all these people celebrating and shouting Hosanna in the highest, that Jesus knew that he was not the Savior that they were looking for, that they were expecting. He was much greater, that he has come indeed into Jerusalem so that he can lay down his life for us. All of the pain, all of the agony, all the hate that he was receiving. Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey 2,000 years ago so that through his death and through his sacrifice, he can rescue each and every one of us and invite us to become part of his heavenly family and invite us to partake in this new life, this new world, this new beginning. Friends, as you think about Jesus, I pray 
and we too will shout as loud as we can, Hosanna in the highest, for Jesus indeed deserves the highest praise and worship. As our Lord, as our Savior, as our true Messiah, who rescues us not from another enemy, but the ultimate enemy, sin and death itself. May we live a life that brings Hosanna, that brings praise and honor to our true Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you so much for reminding us the meaning of Palm Sunday. Uh, Lord, as you have entered into Jerusalem 2,000 years ago on Palm Sunday uh, to be victorious over sin and death, perhaps not in the way that we might have imagined, but in the way that was planned and designed perfectly by God. Laying down your own life, dying on behalf of sinners so that in you and through you we can have life, we can have hope. We thank you, Lord, so much for uh, Jesus Christ. We do pray and ask that you will help us to remind ourselves of that as we prepare ourselves for Easter next week. We love you, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, at this time, let's go into a time of offering, and let's pray this prayer together. You guys ready? Lord, I give my life as an offering to you. Amen. All right, friends, um, before we sing our last song, I just want to remind us next Sunday is Easter Sunday. So during Easter Sunday, we won't be having our typical Sunday service like this on YouTube. Well, we'll be having live service at 11 a.m. over Zoom. 11 a.m. over Zoom. So I will send out a link to all of, the, all of your parents so they will know. Uh, please join us through Zoom. And through, through Zoom, we will be having live worship service with crafts, with, worship, with praise, uh, as well as some time for us to see each other's faces and take a group photo together. Uh, so it will be an uh, awesome time for us to get together. And before that, um, this coming Saturday, we'll be visiting you guys with a package, as we have done before during um, Christmas and last year's Easter as well, so that you can have exactly what you need to participate in Easter next Sunday. Okay, so I hope to see you guys on Saturday. We'll let you know exactly when we'll be there. And, uh, we'll, uh, and please join us next Sunday over Zoom at 11 a.m. All right, uh, let's all stand up and let's close together uh, with this song.
to wait for all the things that I want Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long To get the things I want What I think I need But I know you know what's best for me I'm gonna live what I believe I'm gonna wait Cause I know you're still working I'm gonna have patience Cause it'll be worth it I'm gonna have faith I know you have a You're working it out 